What's up guys? It is currently 6 a.m. in the morning here in India and we're on a crane. So guys, this morning we took a bus from Jaipur, drove five hours here to Gurgaon. We just got to the hotel. It's called the it's called the Grand Bharat, and apparently this is the nicest hotel in all of Asia. And I can see why. This is just walking into this place is mesmerizing. Literally, I was just in awe the whole time walking in. This is my room. My room's looking pretty sweet. Got everything you need. Got a bed. This pillow has my name on it. That's pretty cool. Bathroom. But guys, the best part by far is I have my own private pool. How awesome is this? I'm so down. So now it's time to go grab lunch and celebrate the festival of Holi. We're all gonna get dressed up in white clothes and um, we're gonna be throwing like spices and all this colorful stuff and it's gonna be super epic. Oh my god. Am I? Uh... I, I, I... <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. We went into the city yesterday and picked right. up some clothes, yeah. I think I look pretty funny right now, though. very, very nice. Please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Even my shoes are white. You know, it's very... I came prepared uh, for this. The... Hello, hello. Oh, yeah, go for it. Happy Are you here on Christmas? Looks like I'm the first one out. Ooh, got it. <laughs> Dude, this is legit. Natalie, what do you think of the food? It's amazing. I want to eat all. All of it, right? Yeah, I, I, I can relate to that. How was the saber tooth fight? It's pretty legendary. It was a rainbow saber tooth, so this is what you see as the aftermath. Mm -hmm. um, oh! Came out there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you almost shot the guard right there. So I'm trying to get permission to, to tightrope walk this. I know, and it's grass too. Like this is really So that was absolutely amazing, the whole holy ceremony. I'm all wet because I just jumped into a pond with all my clothes on. Taylor filmed it, so we're gonna try to put it in this vlog. Let's see, you can put out your hand to him or something. So we got on the rooftop, taking some photos. We're getting in trouble again, thanks Sam. Because of me? Always. Yo, she's blaming me. Guys, write in the comments, is it my fault or Alyssa's fault? <laughs> Hell yeah, I know, right? It's cool, right? Gap. 
yeah. Killed it. So we are up here. The Grand Barat. One of the amazing suites that we've invested. It's a cool angle. You just got Sam. Like, pop, pop. Okay, Tom's going to be doing some insane droning. The clips you're about to see are this guy right here. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> right. so. What do you think of the shot's been like you just took at sunrise? Yeah. Tara, what's going on? Uh, we are shooting on a rooftop oh, at yeah. Tourette. Where are we? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we made it to the rooftop. Yeah, this looks really pretty awesome. awesome. Going to the top. Could be cool. They're freaking out. We're literally climbing this building like monkeys. This is this is this honestly feels surreal right now. Just looking over the landscape here, sun just set. This is the type of stuff I live for, honestly. I find it amazing that someone just had the idea to build this insanely extravagant hotel in the middle of nowhere here in India. And they just did it. And this this place is insane. So it's currently 5 a.m. It's Tom and Jacob and me. We're in a taxi right now. We're heading out of the hotel and looking for a building that we saw yesterday. So that looked really cool. We want to catch sunrise up top. Hopefully we can find it. Yo, what if like 40 people just come out with like flamethrowers and squirrels and machetes? Squir I think the squirrels will be dangerous. They'll be trained with <laughs> machetes. So we're driving down the street and it's so hazy. It was really hard to find this building. Jacob managed to find it in all the smog. So those are the buildings right there. Each one has a crane on them. How high? Like we're thinking that's like at least 80 stories plus the cranes on top. Really, really high. Yeah, we're gonna do the furthest one, right? I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this is the biggest building in India. Because this thing is massive. Buildings in New York don't go this big. So we're 30 stories up. It's literally the hardest thing ever. If you guys have never climbed 30 stories before, let alone 80 stories before, you should probably go do that and see what it's like, because it's really hard. Especially with a 50 pound bag on your back. Guys, this staircase literally is overhanging the building. That's dope. Straight drop right under me. This ladder literally is on the very edge of this building. on top of this crane, that's crazy. Yeah, those are parrots. We made it. Need to take a couple deep breaths. If this was five feet from the ground, I'd be running across it, right? But because it's hundreds of feet up, it's a lot scarier. Yeah, yeah. Look at this view. <laughs> This is how we do it.
So it looks like people are starting to come up now. We just saw an elevator going down. So that means people are coming. So hopefully we can get out without anyone seeing us. So there's a bunch of workers coming into the building now. Luckily we're heading down right when they're coming up. So I'm gonna say. You guys are doing great. Yeah. Killing it. Good job. So the guy just came and shook our hands. We thought he was going to freak out. I guess not. That was insane. It's so funny how when we were walking out, the workers and stuff, they thought we were supposed to be there. Like, like we own the building or something and they're like shaking our hands. Look at that. Thank you. 